guys, we have an iPhone 6s and an iPhone 6. Wait, I'm not. And we have another phone video, but this one is an interesting one. It's comparing two different ones an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6s. That's annoying. So these are both new old phones where I bought both of them. They're in box. I thought I ordered a silver one and a space gray one, but apparently it's rose gold. Six S box. Uh, okay. Um, so let's set these things up. We are back. It is totally not hours later. And I totally went for a five mile run this morning. I wish it was a bike ride. Anyway, I'm gonna stop exploding. For now though, I have turned off the password and I've turned on the battery percentage. So let's go through some of the apps that you should test. But first, let's see what our battery is actually at because I'm going to unplug it because we might as well test it because why not? Um, so they might not be a fair test because they probably both are not, ooh, 85% versus 98. This is probably going to die a lot less fast, but you can also tell them part because I this one, the 6S has black bezels and the 6 has white bezels. Also, I will hopefully have something edited over it just to tell you which is which, um, if I remember. But anyway, first let's do, just make sure the phone is actually function as intended. Uh, this one went quicker by a lot. Um, I'm just going to start the test and let's go through. Okay, we have our results. Um, this phone, they both did pretty well. There were some, like, heat, some of the sensors and stuff I couldn't do. Like, touch and face today, I got turned off. I'm not allowing it to access that. Cameras, like, as you saw, camera obviously works. Front camera, rear camera, everything. It, it, they work. They work as pretty much intended. Apparently, this got better. And they do only have 16 gigs of storage, which could be something bad for someone. But I'm pretty sure you can configure them with up to 64 gigs, so it's not horrible. But next step is, I'm going to do this out of order. We're going to do N22 Benchmark. I would do Geekbench because I'm more familiar with it, but it was not going to work on iOS 12. So, let's let it go. Oh yeah, by the way, the 6 only supports up to iOS 12, so that is actually a big factor in whether you should buy it. Yeah, we'll test it in real time. As you guys saw, this one didn't work and this one is glitchy. So, that sucks. Next, we're going to try some YouTube playback. First test, 4K, which it is not going to enjoy. Oh, it doesn't allow it to 4K. That's weird. I know I rendered it in 4K. I mean, it's decent. Like, 1080p is not. This is 1080p. 1080p is not. Like, this is watchable. It doesn't look the greatest because it's an old LCD, but it doesn't look bad. This is usable. Come on. Let's try a short. Just because it, it sometimes will stutter if when you're scrolling through shorts um because it can't pull them up fast enough mm -hmm. oh this is not the greatest there's a clear winner on this side you can see kind of like take a few it's, it's not a fast record. i mean these are about 60 hertz phones but still not great it passes the YouTube test. The final thing is the game test. I mean, you're probably not buying this to game. You're not buying this like you're buying an RG phone, whatever they're on. But like, eight, six, I don't even know. But like, let's just see if you can play games. And the hard part is I have to play a game, one with each hand. If it will load. Oh, this one's loading, this one's downloading. So let's get to the actual game. It's at this point when you realize how garbage mobile games are. Anyway, let's start this race. This is a lot more powerful. Like, that's obvious. This is a lot more powerful. It looks different, too. I'm feeling this will load a lot quicker. Oh, never mind. I was on the wrong page. Okay, so they're both loading in. Need a time. Race and need a time of five minutes. Not sure if I can do that when it's glitching out. Anymore. Okay. I haven't even played us for eight that much. Uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so we've gotten this done and it's pretty clear this is more powerful. 
buy this if you can. It's more powerful for gaming, which if you're buying an old phone, you're probably not gaming, but still, buy the iPhone 6S. Buy it and enjoy it, it will be better, guaranteed. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smack a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.